Hello, in this video, we'll show you how to get started with the SharePoint app provisioning service. And this is a, a great uh, service which you can use to provision sample content, sample site collections and structures to your tenant, or additional solutions which are isolated site collections within your tenant. And this has been recorded in March 2019, so the UIs and things might be looking slightly different depending on when you're watching the video. Now, in my case, I've already signed in uh, to the tenant, which I'm going to use for demonstrating the service. So here I'm actually in the uh, SharePoint or signed into the tenant. And if I go to the SharePoint, we can double check that I'm actually properly signed in. Um, one way of this is the easiest way to confirm against which tenant you are actually running to. And obviously, you can go to the service and sign in using whatever uh, UI, whatever account as well. But at least in my case, it's just easier sign into the target tenant first. And then you go to this uh, service. So the service is in uh, provisioning.sharepointpmp.com. It is currently in a public beta uh, testing. So you're, start, you're able to already test this uh, within your tenant. And the functionalities have been uh, validated uh, by Microsoft internally already. So the text here uh, has been changed uh, to be public. So I'm recording this one while it was still uh, part of the internal testing. The service itself uh, gives you capabilities of finding different sample content like the SharePoint lookbook sites and you're able to provision this kind of a sample content with sample pages and news and documents directly to any tenants. Or you can also provision a solutions like the custom learning solution, which is actual solution, which contains uh, custom SPFX SharePoint framework client side components and other things as well. Or the solution could be also SharePoint starter kit, which is a complex reference solution, how to build modern, uh, modern portals using the SharePoint online. So in my case, I'm going to now use, uh, as an example, I'm going to use the Contoso workshop site, uh, which is a relatively simple template, even though it's a really cool looking uh, modern communication site. So let me uh, first select which of the templates uh, basically you want to use. So I'm, we're going to use, in this case, Contoso workshop site. For all of the templates, we have additional details. So if you can scroll down, you can actually see the high level top of the template, uh, additional notes. Uh, details on what the template actually is containing, the full layout of the template uh, as well, and then uh, additional pre-requirements if there are any. So in this case, uh, as an example, this template can be applied to uh, as a independent site collection. There's no additional pre-requirements. Some of the templates, they have uh, requirements for having app catalog in your tenant, which is completely understandable because they contain customizations. Now, after you selected which template you want to use, uh, you can actually uh, click the Add to your tenant button in here on the right side. And a key point to understand when we release the service, all of the templates are requiring tenant administrative permissions. So this doesn't work unless you're not a tenant administrator. So you have to be a tenant administrator to make things work. When you click that to your tenant, it's going to do a constant using Azure AD. And it is requiring a quite heavy permissions because we are actually creating site collections and adding configurations to your tenant to automate things as much as possible. And this is precisely why it requires a tenant administrative permissions. So we kind of consent on behalf of the organization and click accept. And after that, I'm now ready to start at the provisioning process. Now, if you don't like the constant, the such a heavy permissions, you can actually download all of these permission, all of the templates as an uh, as a separate download as well. So they are open source templates, and you can use BMP PowerShell to apply them to your tenant. So if you don't want to use the centralized service. But with this service, it's really, really easy. Uh, so basically, now that we've selected the template which we want to provision, uh, we can provide the notification email, which we're going to be notified when uh, the provisioning is completed. And then we can modify the title and the site URL if needed. Uh, we can also select an existing theme if we have any existing themes in a tenant. Uh, in this case, we're going to use the default theming uh, just from a simplicity perspective. And then it's nothing more than clicking provision. Uh, we're going to get confirmed on what's actually going to happen. In this case, the template takes approximately five minutes to complete uh, the provisioning and there will be an email sent to the email address when that's happening. So let me click confirm and we get a confirmation that the request to provision a site has been uh, uh, recorded. 
And at this point, uh, this process is complete as asynchronous, so you need to wait until you get a notification email sent to this address which you provided. We would not recommend going directly to the site or doing a refresh on the site all the time because that might actually uh, cause issues on the provisioning uh, while it's happening. Now let's go to the email uh, address of the of the current account, and we're going to wait until uh, or the email is arriving here as a new email. So in my case, there's quite a few emails actually already old emails in here, uh, but let's see uh, when the new email is arriving, so we can actually see that the provisioning is fully completed, and we can go to the site itself. We're going to speed up the video at this point, uh, so let's continue when the, the email has arrived. And there we go. Now we got the email and we can see that the email notification arrived on the inbox. Uh, we can see the email in here. Uh, right now, if you haven't actually consented the download of the images, and there's a small image rendering, but this can be solved really easily by trusting the service uh, and trusting the sender. And after that, uh, the emails are looking quite nice. So basically what the email is saying is that uh, your request to provision Contos Workshop site is now completed. Enjoy your newly created sites uh, or site and click the below link to get access on the provision site. So if you click this link now, we are getting redirected to the site, which is now auto-created and auto-generated to the tenant where we were signed in uh, with the permissions and properties and parameters which were set on the on the uh, parameterization page. Few things to notice maybe, uh, the, the parameters which were being asked just before we started the provisioning, those are dependent on the template, so the template itself, uh, there might be differences uh, on the parameterization which is provided, but quite often it's the site title, site URL, and then the email and nothing more than that. Um, also, uh, like mentioned, if you don't like to sign in and grant this application, uh, as many permissions as, as mentioned, uh, you can always download these templates also from GitHub and, and use BMP PowerShell to sign in and apply these templates to your tenant or to your demo tenants uh, for demo usage. But that's as simple as that. You basically go to the provisioning, the SharePoint.com uh, address, uh, you have a look on which of the template you actually want to apply, you select the template uh, and have a detailed look on, well, it's always recommended to have a look on what the template actually is provisioning, because as an example, if we scroll down here, if you go to the SharePoint Starter Kit, this SharePoint Starter Kit provisions quite a lot of different things, so additional configurations like 17 custom web parts, and if you want, don't want these 17 web parts to be available in your tenant, we do not recommend uh, applying this to your production tenant. You can absolutely use it in a test environment uh, as such. But having a look on what the template actually contains, having a look on what's actually happening here, and then uh, clicking the Add to Your Tenant, and that's it. You will get an email uh, after the provisioning is completed. The time what the provisioning takes is highly dependent on the selected template. So a simple template takes roughly three to four minutes, and a complex template can take up to 25 minutes, like the SharePoint Starter Kit. Um, but hopefully you'll enjoy uh, the service, and please give us feedback uh, around the service. And if there's any issues, please use the, the issue reporting, uh, submit an issue functionality in here to let us know, especially during the public uh, beta timeframe, uh, if, the, if you run into any unexpected situations. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you'll enjoy the service um, and we'll keep on evolving this service. This might be actually integrated directly in Office 365 at some point, but we want to start as a separate service as a starting point. Um, maybe a final thing also to notice, uh, this service itself is not really hosted by Microsoft. It is owned uh, and run by Microsoft, but it's actually supported by the community itself. So this is community hosted service. So if you need to have any support, any guidance, please use our SharePoint dev docs issue list. There is no dedicated engineer in Microsoft side right now to support any of the requests uh, from the service. So community supported service, community supported uh, provided support as well. But thank you for watching. Please give us feedback. Thank you uh, for all of the, the comments uh, beforehand. Thank you. Mm -hmm.